Chan Cham Chop. Chow Chop or Chan Chan Chop or Cham Chong Hya. Cham Chong Hya. If you clicked on this video with the sole intention to watch me lampoon this guy who's been made fun of for the past three months, you're going to be sorely disappointed because this video is not about this obnoxious, arrogant asshole. It's about an entirely different obnoxious, arrogant asshole. Some of you might be pleasantly surprised with who this video is actually about. I'll give you a hint, he's very boastful. He's made a video on me. Dinga 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 up it up it up it up it up That's right everyone, I'm talking about Asian Jake Paul. You, you can't just hide, hide for months and make a 20 minute video and randomly no one even knows and surprise everyone and just drop it on my head. You can't just do that. I'm doing that. I'm doing it right now. If you were to make a rice gum content cop, I mean, that would blow him up even more. Oh no, I didn't title it that. I guess I'm not gonna blow up. <laughs> Jake Paul, you've made a wonderful scapegoat, so I don't have to give this bit of mucus the satisfaction of having his name in the title or his face in the thumbnail. Now that all of that is out of the way, we're going to react to a video that this hype beast released about a year ago, essentially begging for a content cop. I, I don't really care at all, but I kind of really want him to make one on me. I really don't care, but I kind of really Bro, want him to make drop one on me. These are quite obviously the content cop who came in. I have no idea what strategy to actually go with. Should I just so easy one for ice cream? Act as if I want a content cop, or should I act as if I don't care at all? I don't know. Let's try both. He'll roast my appearance, whatever. He'll probably bring up some old pictures of me from way back then when I was here. Oh, oh my gosh! About it's like you watched the Leafy video and thought this is all this guy does is roast people's appearance. I could stave off all criticism by showing pictures of myself when I was a goofball kid. I like you when you're a goofball kid. That's perfectly fine. Those pictures are great. You should show the clip of you saying the rape comments is what you should be doing. Uh, what, he raped you? No, but did it feel good though? How long like, did the rape last for? I meant for less. Oh, okay. So it's not that bad. But did it's you sue him and shit or no? Guys, if you want to rape her, she won't sue you, so. If you were to... We got a song on the way. I'm working. We're about to be working all night overtime. In the brief period he's been on YouTube, he's managed to commit all seven of the deadly YouTuber sins. So that's the theme for today's video. What? Seven deadly. That little list he had. What was that? Period. He's been on YouTube. He's managed to commit all seven. So these are the seven deadly sins if you want to start YouTube. <coughs> Lust, gluttony, greed, definitely can agree. I don't know what number two means. Sloth, which means lazy. Definitely, you can't be lazy. Wrath, I'm guessing he means like like a person that likes to start fights and, sh and, sh and everything. Uh, so definitely agree with that. Envy, that's a plus, plus, plus. I wish that was number one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then pride, most definitely. I think that should be top five, in my opinion, with the pride. Um, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I feel like those are some, those are some actually smart, the smartest things he said this this video so far. But let's and continue. Of the deadly YouTube point out. sins. So that's the theme for today's video. Seven. But I'm not saying that's what writes them. At all. I was just saying that those are definitely true. Just seven topics. <laughs> I just wanted to be cute. <laughs> Part one investigation. Come on, bro. That's that's sick. Why are you licking something off the wall? More like city of devils. Oh my gosh, the press is going wild out there. Okay, no. <laughs> 
Testing, testing, pussy one, two, three. Ben Stomfield, Sam Black, Alien, Twitter, users, and I'm more standing in front of a horrific murder scene that happened just hours ago. The, I've already spoken to the police, and all they could tell us was that the murder might have something to do with the organization or cult known as the Hype Beasts. This is a satanic cult that has been involved in numerous murders, shootings, killings, and homicides, and also rapes. Sometimes they rape babies. We are going to investigate it. We're going to find some answers because the police aren't giving us very many. Answers, and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. Uh, back to you, Cheryl. Lust. Okay, using lotion. And she'll let me smash, bro. Bro, she'll let me pipe her shit. Yeah, bro, she definitely wants to fuck me. Bro, she low-key got some titties. I think she's 16 to 15. I go lie, bro. She got some titties on her, bro. When it comes to showing off the uh, rapper lifestyle, whether it be with women or money, he has the most generic taste imaginable. Let me pile 14 women in front of me to show you that I, I get women. Do you believe that I'm not? Bro, this man is mad, bro. He, he just mad because he probably ain't never be with girls outside of YouTube, man. Why you hating on rice gum, dude? What the heck? If you were to ask all 14 of these girls to come out and pull up to your music shoot, bitch, I'll probably laugh at your ass, man. But, like I said, man, we're trying to make friends with them. I don't want anything to happen. Gay yet. I'm trying to make up for that time when Susie was basically fondling me for a minute straight on video. Check out these next clips where I basically lie to some girls on my stream. No, I'm not streaming though, I just wanted to call you. Oh, you're not? No, no, I just wanted to call you and just talk. I'm not live right now, right? No, no, no. Basically, we were just chilling on Mingo. She didn't know that I was live to 3,000 people. With a lot of these interactions, it's sort of the ends justify the means because by the end of the stream, they're giddy with excitement because they got all these new followers for appearing on the stream. Oh my gosh! You are lying to me? You're such a goofball! But of course, they won't always act so coy when you've been caught lying to them. So you know those messages you sent me saying that it was only streamed once and that it was not recorded and no one else would get it? Oh, well, yeah. I've been sitting here watching your stream oh, no, for like no. an hour, nice. and you replayed it. And even after that happened, it's like he didn't even realize that it was a bad thing. She found out it was pretty funny. I just fucking dipped and then uh, just wait to the last clip, homie. You shouldn't just do that without talking to people. I love holy shit, dude! I'm getting off stream, stream. Speaking of recording people without their knowledge, there's a YouTube video he deleted about a year ago that's uh, called Netflix and Chill. It's a Damn, story. Dude, you're a stalker. I show her where my bathroom is. She goes, and for some reason, she leaves her phone on the couch. Right, so I'm on some curious George. You know, I want to go through her phone, so I'm going through her phone right now, and I'm looking through her messages. And tell me why she texts like ten other dudes. Are you awake? I don't even feel special anymore. And I feel like I'm just another option to her. Oh, he doesn't feel special anymore. You hear that, ladies? I wonder what he's going to do now that he doesn't feel special. And I feel like I'm just another option to her. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get some payback and just put her ass on the internet. Payback for what again? <laughs> <laughs> this guy obviously has never gotten girls in his life. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all... You guys heard one of my Netflix and chill stories on my other channel, bro. This is even before I would do, like, before tubing all that. Bro, if a female did some stuff like that, then you, you invite me over to your house talking about you making me feel special and all this stuff, and I look at your phone, and you texting 10 other dudes saying, are you awake, are you awake? You're going to be lucky if you even have a phone, first of all, by the end of the night, and second, that half of your house isn't in destruction mode. Okay, motherfucker? Now, I just... This this guy just is pissing me off, bro. He's just really exposing things that's really not necessarily needed to be exposed. Choice but to sleep with? It's none of my so business. I set up the hidden camera, man. I sit back down, and out of nowhere, again, he starts calling me, or whoever. He just starts calling my phone, and she finds the hidden camera. So I see you made it to the end of the video, man, based on a true story. If it is a parody of story time videos, and you're admitting to almost committing a crime by recording someone without their knowledge of you having sex with them, you think you'd at least be intelligent enough to say, guys, this was a joke. This was a parody. Put her ass on the internet. Put her ass on the internet. Oh, see, I didn't know that part, though. You shouldn't say at the end 
Here's one thing I wouldn't definitely ever do with a female. Like, the whole, that whole tape shit. But, I, you know, maybe you could have been joking, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be quick to all, be jumping sides. But regardless, you know what I'm saying? The female was still grimy. Based on a true story, I completely understand why you delete that video. It sort of ruins all future prospects of you having sexual intercourse with anyone. At the end of the day, it's just another example of you being... In a way, low-key. Like you say. It don't ruin it, but it just, like, makes it harder. Oh, let's go bully these people. Yahoo! What the hell is blood? This next segment, I'm going Fat? to remove myself like from the critic, and instead I'm going to speak as a fan. Because me and all the other fans want to know what happened to the clickbait challenge winner. And last but not least, make sure to put hashtag clickbait challenge in the description because at the end of two weeks, the video with the most views will win a humongous prize. So go out, get creative, and let's get clickbaiting. Yeah, but we're still waiting for the winner. You didn't announce it. Not on YouTube, not on Twitter, not on Facebook, not on Instagram, not even on Google+. You don't have to divulge any private information. It was a public competition where there's a public winner, the, the person who got the most views within those two weeks who used hashtag clickbait challenge. There is one thing that you really shouldn't say, and that's uh, something along the lines of, I'm not going to announce the winner because I respect their privacy. I'm not live right now, right? No, no, no. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having expensive taste. Uh, the problem arises when you're obnoxious about it. $800 off-white $2,000. $450. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000
on YouTube. There's like this video that has been going crazy viral and basically in the video he shows how much money YouTube has paid him. Everyone just giving him so much props, like everyone loves him. This dude is getting so much street credit and I'm like, I want some street cred too. Last month I made a roughly sixty thousand uh, dollars. I mean, it's okay. It is actually my lowest paid month. Once again, I only got twenty million views. I'm not sure what odds he's trying to improve. The odds that uh, a female will finally see him as a suitable sex candidate because he has money, or the odds that his child fan base will revere him more as a god. Slot. I don't often speak on the topic of stretching videos out to the 10 minute mark for the sake of more ad revenue, particularly with the adpocalypse stuff going on. If that's some people's hustle, no problem with it. The problem is, when you don't actually fill that space with more content, you just stretch your outro out, three minutes long, four minutes long, that's fucking retarded. I love you guys, subscribe if you're new, comment, I read all comments, and now I try to make this video somehow 10 minutes. <laughs> what? One thing that he's very disingenuous about is when he states that all of his videos are jokes. All of my videos are jokes. A lot of people don't understand this. People get actually mad at me, like, yo, relax. All my videos are jokes. It's just for fun. I have no beef against this kid. No, they're not. And it's very obvious to anyone who watches your videos that they're not all jokes. You're not playing a character. All right, that is you. You are being yourself in these videos. Oh, no, I get it. You're, you're so spineless that you want to have it both ways. You want to basically be able to say, yeah, I roasted this person in the past, but it was all jokes. It was all jokes. If you want to suggest that some amount of your videos are jokes, go for it. it. You know, it's very obvious to all of us that your beef with Logan Paul is just a bunch of fake shit. Oh no! Logan stole my clothes! What am I gonna do? Oh snap! He's gonna do this. Bro, look at this, bro! Where's my Supreme and Gucci and Babe? That is all fake beef. So if you want to call that a joke, go for it. But you are undoubtedly the biggest fence rider on YouTube. You would just as soon make a diss track on Logan Paul as you would drop to your knees and suck him. Finding a lead? This guy is mad though, low key bro. I'm trying to tell you, he's just a confused fan. That's all it is. It's all good though. These camera angles are fire though in the editing. Now we're going to talk about the Gabby situation, and if you're not familiar with it, I'll bring you up to speed. These two are attending a party together. She goes up to him with Snapchat in hand and says, I challenge you to a freestyle. She's pestering him. She says, you don't have your ghost rider here, do you, bitch? He's obviously quite scared, so he does the only thing that he thinks he can do. I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it, and I did something about it. I grabbed her phone and I smashed it. I was like, enough is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smashed <laughs> that thought, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just want to look at... This is the thing that I don't like about grimy, 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 grimy ass females, bro. As soon as a dude has the nuts to do something, they want to play the victim, bro. And, you know, the thing that's sad about it is that when they play the victim, some dudes like, um... I dubs are gonna buy into it and feel bad and try to talk mess about it. I've seen it, trust me, I've seen it time and time happen again. Such a shit, I'm like back in like high school. Like, when I would like, you know what I'm saying, like, I did a couple females wrong or whatever. Like, I had people that wasn't like, you know what I'm saying, like, 
down down to earth friends but I just remember just like when I was in class I just used to dap them up some cool stuff like that then they didn't low key wanted to like talk to me anymore they wanted to like talk smack about me actually to the female that I did wrong basically just to start a convo with them and make their life a lot easier because a lot of dudes nowadays have very bad like pick up lines and just game and just being able to hold a conversation up in general so they generally will start and talk smack about somebody else that they envy in order to develop a conversation out of that you know what I'm saying it's a cycle trust me I that's it that's all he has there isn't a third option they got swept under the rug and that's to play along with it there isn't even an infinite number of options that allow you to do any number of things that don't make you look like an asshole or a pussy. I can't just sit there and look like a bitch. If you are ever so terrified of being put in an improvisational situation that you smash someone's phone for fear of looking like a bitch, you sort of automatically just look like a bitch. I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did Was that my name? Like he's describing... That you smash someone's phone for fear of looking like a bitch. You sort of automatically just look like a bitch. I had two options that. Yo, he put my name in that book. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it. It's like he's describing the thought process of a wounded animal or a caveman. I either run away or I smash. Those are the two options. Enough is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smash. <laughs> Hurt your feelings, you stupid. <laughs> How can I turn this into <laughs> Yo, right on the snap brain? I can't just sit there and look like a bitch. I just want to mention as a side note that when he was on Drama Alert, he had said that when you go to these YouTuber parties, it's understood that you don't bring out your phone and you don't film people really without their permission. These YouTuber parties, people know to right. not take out phones. Or so you ask permission. People do film at those parties, and you filmed at those parties. Filming's fine when people are okay with it. You weren't okay with it because you got bamboozled. Would you guys like to hear the juiciest bit of hypocrisy? Probably shouldn't have through her phone, but I mean, if you're gonna record me at a party when I'm off guard. This girl literally came up to me in person, didn't ask me, hey Rice, do you mind if I vlog? She just came up to me, camera already on, and I was so unexpected. It kind of sounds like he doesn't like being recorded without his consent. How interesting. No, but I'm not streaming though, I just wanted to call you. Oh, you're not? No, I know, I just wanted to call you and just talk. Now, I'll be like, hey, Rasko was streaming, ha, he, he fooled you, don't trust him, fuck out of here, you snitches, man. I would've got nudes, bro, but y'all was really fucking up my tempo. I don't even know why I even lied, bro, fucking people snitch way too much. He is very entitled. So entitled, in fact, that when he's not invited to a YouTube-related event, he has to tell everyone about it. Instead, they decide to hook up like Tyler Oakley and these washed up YouTubers and fly them out and stuff and hook those guys up and not even hook me up. If you're watching this, right? Oh no, Rice comes a real one for that because I told the same thing with EA when they didn't want to invite me and face scan the entire 2K community. I'm going to put that on blast and that's going to be a continuous thing for the rest of the companies. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like that I am a face of the brand and you don't want to put me out there all because of one little thing that happened, like I'm going to put you on blast and that's simple. Those guys that are irrelevant now, but you know, just at least show respect to the people that was grinding, you know, hard and shit. I can understand whining like a bitch because you didn't get invited to YouTube Rewind. What I can't understand at all is why you would bring up other YouTubers' names and talk about their numbers and how irrelevant they are. These names right here, I'm sorry if I'm calling you out, these people right here were popping in 2015, 2014, like, but in 2016, like, who, like, there were so many people in the video that I was. I was like, who the fuck, like, who are these people? You are so stupid that you don't even realize that that question could be asked of you in a matter of years. I guess you should just hope that future relevant YouTubers aren't as mentally deficient as you. During this year at VidCon, there was this very annoying Instagram kid who was making a fool of himself by disrespecting the VidCon staff. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, but that guy is moral. And that was a different situation, bro. That dude at the Dane staff thing, he just is an idiot, bro. That doesn't count towards Rice Gun. Respecting the VidCon staff. Of course, he had to make a video on this kid. You might be wondering what could he possibly criticize this kid for that he hasn't done himself. 
Not much. I cannot believe these are actual words coming out of another human's mouth. We get it, bro. You're rich, you're famous, but that does not give you the right to be mean and call these security guards irrelevant. Like, they're literally just doing their job. Have all those guys that are irrelevant now, but... Hey, irrelevant. Irrelevant. I feel like this guy thinks he's, like, above people. Like, he was calling people peasants and irrelevant, like, you're irrelevant. Because they're irrelevant. Gabby Show, another pretty irrelevant YouTuber. In addition to being a <laughs> he also thinks numbers mean everything. I don't even know who this guy is, like, Africa, who is this guy? Security guard made a social media and has more followers than that kid. Like, what? He has more followers than you. How do you feel? Calls him irrelevant when he's irrelevant himself. I don't know how he's missing the point. It's almost as if he thinks this kid's actions would be justified so long as he has the numbers to back it up. Him being an asshole cannot be justified by his large following. The world doesn't owe you shit no matter how fucking large your sub count is. Dude, this guy has only 16,000 followers and he's talking like that? Imagine if he had my YouTube viewers. Yes, if he had had your YouTube viewers, he would be as arrogant and unintelligent as you. Bro, you're not viral at all. That's viral, all right? That's viral. You're not viral. You need to relax. Miss, I got <laughs> So, like, my last song got 13 million views, so can I call myself Mr. I got 13 million views? Like, that's... It's weird. It's kind of like whenever someone brags themselves, he thinks that is now an opportunity to brag because the focus is on them. Yeah, it's cool that you're helping out, you know, depressed fans, but this isn't something you, like, brag about, you know. I do this too, but, you know, you don't see me bragging about it, but you shouldn't be bragging about it. I mean, I do all these things too, bro, but you don't see me making a song. You do not help out depressed fans. What are you fucking talking about? Because some kid emails you and says, watching your videos is helping my depression. Do you really need everything? Why in the world is it not a enough to be a YouTube star who gets a lot of views by being an asshole, why do you also then have to say, by the way, I'm also a nice guy who helps out depressed fans? One of his very notorious practices is to bring up people's names with the most feeble excuses. At the beginning, I really liked his videos. And I oh, at the beginning, you liked all my stuff, but like, what, so now all my newer videos, you don't like it that much? A month ago, he tweeted, gonna make a new channel where I only do roast and diss tracks so I can whore out everyone's name in the title. This tweet is part about me. All right, you got PewDiePie popped up, as you guys can see. I'm going on his likes tweet. It says, where's the starter pack? As a result of this, he's constantly baiting out who the next diss track is going to be on. Is it going to be on this person, who has nothing to do with me and has never mentioned... I'm going to go ahead and probably cap off the stream, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hey, make sure y'all are following me on the gram, bro. Pull up Sneer Games Orlando tomorrow. I will be lit in this bit, man.